Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I just want to show you some more things you can do with Lens.org. I plan to have a couple videos on Lens.org because there are so many things you can do with it, and it's blowing my mind. So today I'll just show you some ways that you can search. And then the next time I hope to show you some ways you can get metrics and analytics because it's kind of amazing. So here we are on the home page, lens.org, and the default is patents. I'm not a patent librarian, I don't have patents, and I haven't worked with patents, and so I usually start with scholarly works. In my last video I showed you profiles, so we've already looked at that, so let's look at scholarly works today. And here you can enter some keywords and scholarly fields, and you can leave it at that and click search. You can also enter a date range, and you can enter a flag, which would mean it's with someone who has an ORCID ID, or it's open access, or they have the link to the full text. Anything here you can try. Now, the document types, they have journal articles, unknown. I'd have to look into that. I'm curious what that might be because it's a pretty large number. Book chapters, conference proceedings, book, dissertation, component, data set, oh, LibGuide, wow, and reference entry. So this is pretty cool. You can start here, but I've also recently discovered the structured search. So let me click on that, and it does take some time to come up. Here we are in structured search. So you can search by field here. So there's lots of choices and put in your terms and combine with Boolean operators and add boxes. So that's something you're familiar with if you've used lots of databases before. You can also enter a date range here. You can look up an ORCID or the name of the author if you don't know their ORCID. Again, you can select for flags. You can choose the identifier type, so where it's coming from, and the publication type. Now what I think is really interesting is over here on the right, they're telling you where they're getting this scholarly data set. 203 million from Microsoft Academic, 137 million in Crossref, 16 million from Core, 34 million in PubMed, which I think also will include PubMed Central, and 32 million in Open Alex. And it will show you more details here. Now, if we look at the tabs across the top here, it's giving you some tips for searching using this function and descriptions of what these fields mean, right? So we're matching up our fields here to the description of what the fields mean. And then there are some presets. I haven't looked at those yet, but it's giving you some examples and some ways that you might look things up in a way that is meaningful for you. Let's go back to the home page, and we'll move back to Scholarly Works. And I just want to show you some of the tips I've learned already which is I'm going to look for critical care and click search. This platform is really nice because it's telling you what it's doing. It's doing critical and care with 1.3 million results. And I want to show you that then you can get better results if you use some of the search techniques that I talk about when I talk about searching. So we'll go to edit search and here we're going to have more options. So we want critical care in quotes. We'll click search, and remember, we had 1.3 million in our first search because we had critical and care. Now we have 795,000. Well, let's knock it down a little bit more, and we'll go back to edit search. And here, I'm going to use all fields to our advantage, and I'm going to say title, abstract, keyword, or field of study. This feels to me the most equivalent to the kinds of searching that we do in databases platforms like PubMed and I'll add rehabilitation not necessary to put it in quotes because it's not a phrase and we'll click search and I've knocked it down now to 1059 results and it's telling you exactly how it's doing this it's looking in the title abstract keyword field of study and here we get to play around there's a lot you can do on the left there's a lot you can do on the right. You're going to have to stay tuned for those. Today I'm just going to show you that you can sort these by relevance, by citations, by citing patents, date published, and source title. 
Stay tuned for more on the lens and try it out for yourself and see what you get. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.